Good morning, incredible, phenomenal women. How y'all doing this morning? This is the day that the Lord has made, so let's rejoice and be glad in Him. I thank God for another opportunity to share in His Word this morning, and I ask that you share it. Hit that share button and share it with some friends. Praise God. Hallelujah, Jesus. We're going to go ahead and get started this morning. We're going to get started with a word of prayer. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you, God. We praise you. We honor you, God. Lord, we thank you, whole hallelujah, Jesus, for who you are, for your awesomeness and your mightiness, God. We thank you, Lord, for another opportunity, Lord God, to share in your word this morning, God. We ask, God, that you would have your way, God. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done, Father, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Lord, speak to our hearts this morning. Speak to us, Lord God. Hallelujah. Give us ears to hear and hearts to receive and a mind to understand what you're saying to us, Lord God, in your word this morning, God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. And Father, we thank you, God. We praise you. We honor you, Lord God. Oh God, and we give you all the honor and all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm excited. Praise God about what God is doing, what he continues to do. Hallelujah, Jesus. This morning, our topic that we have this morning is, what is the sacrifice of thanksgiving in Psalms 116 and 17? What is the sacrifice of thanksgiving in Psalms 116 and 17? But before I give you that answer, I want to read what sacrifice means. Sacrifice means giving to the Lord whatever he requires of our time, our earthly possessions, and our energies to further his work. Matthew 6 and 33 say, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, Hallelujah. Our willingness to sacrifice is an indication for our devotion to God. Our willingness to sacrifice is an indication of our devotion to God. Now, the Oxford Dictionary meaning a sacrifice. It says, the fact of giving up something important or valuable to you in order to get or do something that seems more important. Let me read that again. It's the fact of giving up something important or valuable to you. It's got to mean something to you in order to get or do something that seems more important. Hallelujah. We're talking, talking about sacrificing. Sacrifice of thanksgiving. Hallelujah. And the word thanksgiving says an act of giving thanks an expression of gratitude, especially to God. Hallelujah, because that's who we're talking about this morning. Hallelujah. What is the sacrifice of thanksgiving in Psalms 116, hallelujah, and 17? And I'm going to be reading that chapter. I want to read that whole chapter. But let's start right here. In uh, Psalms 116 is a song of praise and thanksgiving from one whose prayer for help has been answered. The worshiper sings of the Lord's great deliverance from a profoundly distressing, life-threatening predicament. And that's in uh, verses 3 through 4 and verse 8. In response to the Lord's goodness, the psalmist vows publicly to bring an offering of sacrifice and praise to the temple. He said, I will offer to you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people in the courts of the house of the Lord in your midst, O Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. So we're talking about a sacrifice of thanksgiving. Let me start with Psalms 116, beginning with verse 1. And I'm going to read the easy read version. It says, I love the Lord for hearing me. For listening to my prayers, yes, he paid attention to me. So I will always call to him whenever I need help. Death ropes were around me. The grave was closing in on me. I was worried and afraid. Then I called on the name, on the Lord's name. I said, Lord, save me. 
How many of you have ever called out to the Lord? God, save me, help me, Lord. Hallelujah, I need you, God. The Lord is good and merciful. Our God is so kind. The Lord takes care of helpless people. I was without help and he saved me. Verse seven, my soul relax. My soul, it said relax. The Lord is caring for you. Thank you, Jesus. Verse eight, Lord, you saved my soul from death. You stopped my tears. You kept me from falling. I will continue to serve the Lord in the land of the living. I continue be believing. I continued believing even when I said I am completely ruined. Yes, even when I was upset and said there is no one I can trust. What can I give the Lord for all that he has done for me? Have you ever asked that question? What can you give? Hallelujah to the Lord for all that he's done. He saved me. So I would give him a drink offering and I would call on the Lord's name. I would give the Lord what I promised. I would go in front of all his people now. Very dear to the Lord are the lives of his followers. He cares when they, they, they face death. Lord, I am your servant. Yes, I am your slave as my mother was. You set me free from the chains of death. I will give you a thank offering. I will call on the name of the Lord. Mm. I will stand before the gathering of his people and give the Lord what I promise. I will do this in Jerusalem in the courtyards of the Lord's temple. Praise the Lord. So he said, I'm gonna stand and I'm gonna give to God what I promised him. All that I've been through, I know that God was with me. Even when death was knocking at the door, I knew that God was with me and that God was taking care of me. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to your name. No matter what the psalmist was going through, he found a way to come back and give God some praise. To thank the Lord, hallelujah, for what he was doing. Hallelujah. Even in the midst of turmoil, he said, Lord, I thank you. I yet thank you, God. Glory to your name, Jesus. The sacrifice of thanksgiving or thank offering falls into the category of peace offering. And you can find that in Leviticus 7, 11 through 15. We have a lot of scriptures. I'm just going to tell you some of the scriptures and then some of them I'm going to read because we have a lot of scriptures to cover. It was offered for a wondrous occasion of salvation from distress, death, or sickness. Let's do Psalms 50 and 23. Hallelujah, Jesus. Psalms 50 and 23, and I'm gonna read the New Living Translation. It says, but giving thanks is a sacrifice that truly honors me. If you keep my path, I will reveal to you the salvation of God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to your name, Lord God. Hallelujah. Giving thanks is a sacrifice that truly honors God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You know, sometimes we get caught up in doing things. Hallelujah. And we say, I need to, I'm going to go do this, or I feel like I need to do this. But then we say, wait a minute, hold up. I'm going through this, but wait a minute, hold up. Let me give God some praise right here. Because I know that the situation could be a lot worse than what it is. So let me thank God, hallelujah, that he is yet my keeper and my protector and my provider. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Psalms 107, and I'm 21 and 22, also New Living Translation. I love the New Living Translation, if y'all haven't noticed that. Hallelujah. I like other versions too, but this is one of my favorites. It says, let them praise the Lord for his great love and for the wonderful things he has done for them. Let us praise the Lord for his great love and for the wonderful things that he has done for us. Let them offer sacrifice 
sacrifices of thanksgiving and sing joyfully about his glorious acts. And you know, we just came out of the series talking about joy. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to your name. So when we, when we have a relationship with God, when we're in intimacy with God, hallelujah, no matter what we're going through, hallelujah, Jesus, we know that the joy of the Lord is our strength. And we know that when we give God praise, when we honor him, when we bring a sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Into this house. Hallelujah. When we give a sacrifice of praise, Lord, it's not about how I feel, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. But God is all about you, Lord. And I am going to praise you, God. Hallelujah. Praise him until your situation changes. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Let them offer sacrifices of thanksgiving and sing joyfully about his glorious acts. Thank you, Jesus, because God has been so good to us. Hallelujah. When you look back over your life, see where he's brought you from. You may not be where you want to be, but thank God you're not where you used to be. And give God some praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You may not have what you want on your table. You may not be driving what you want to drive right now. But thank God, hallelujah, that you do have something to put on your table. You do have something to drive. Or you can get a ride. Hallelujah. Thank God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to your name. Psalms 56, 12 through 13, New Living Translation. And it reads, thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. I will fulfill my vows, my promises to the Lord. Hallelujah, Lord God. Oh, God will offer, let me start over. I will fulfill my vows to you, oh, God, and will offer a sacrifice of thanks for your help. For you have rescued me from death. You have kept my feet from slipping. So now I can walk in your presence, oh God, in your life-giving light. Hallelujah, Jesus. God, you kept me, God. Hallelujah. Even when I felt like giving up, God, you kept me, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to your name. Even when I was going down the wrong path, God, you kept me, God. Hallelujah. You protected me, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to your name, Lord God. You brought forth healing, God. You brought forth deliverance, Lord God. Lord, I thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. You know, when I look back and see the things that God has done and what he's still doing, hallelujah, I can't help but to thank God. Glory to your name, Jesus. I thank him even in the pandemic, hallelujah. I give God praise. I thank him, hallelujah, because I'm still here, hallelujah. That's not everybody's testimony, but thank him that you're still here, hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. God, our protector, our provider. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thanksgiving was a central, hallelujah, was central to worship in the Old Testament, just as it is in the New Testament church. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Colossians, hallelujah, 2. I'm going to read 6 through 7, and that's going to be the New Living Translation. Hallelujah. Colossians 2. And six through seven, New Living Translation. It says, and now, just as you accepted Christ Jesus as your Lord, you must continue to follow him. As you accepted him as your Lord and your Savior, you got to continue to follow him. Let your roots grow down into him. And let your lives be built on him. Then your faith will grow strong in the truth you were taught and you will overflow with thankfulness. Let your faith, your, then your faith, hallelujah, if you continue to grow, continue to follow God and let your roots grow, hallelujah, down deep in him, hallelujah, Jesus. 
How do we go deep in the Lord? We go deep in God, hallelujah, through praise, through worship, through meditation of his word, hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to your name, Lord God. Through prayer, hallelujah. Go deep in God. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Lord God, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Then your faith will grow strong in the truth you were taught. The word of God is truth. And you will overflow with thankfulness. Hallelujah, Jesus. When you are rooted and grounded in the Lord, your relationship, hallelujah, of a relationship with God, hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. It's easy for you to give God thanks. It's easy for you, hallelujah, glory to your name, to lift up your holy hands and say, Lord, I thank you, God. I praise you, Lord. Even though my arms are hurting right now, God, Lord, I yet thank you, God, hallelujah, because I still have arms, God. I thank you, Lord. I praise you, Lord, God, that I'm still able to lift them up, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to your name, God. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The Amplified reads Colossians 2, 6 through 7. It says, therefore, as you have received Christ Jesus, the Lord, walk in union with him, reflecting his character in the things you do and say, living lives that, led, that lead others away from sin. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Having been deeply rooted in him, and now being continually built up in him and becoming increasingly more established in your faith, just as you were taught and overflowing in it with gratitude. Hallelujah, Jesus. Mm, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, walk in union with him, reflecting his character in the things you do and say. Living lives that lead others away from sin. Living a life that leads others to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. You know, when I was studying this lesson, I thought about, you know, we're like a book. People are reading us. Hallelujah. People are reading us and we don't even know we're being read. In other words, people are watching you. Hallelujah. What, it, what, what are you saying? What is your life saying to others? Hallelujah, Jesus. Is it leading people to Christ? Hallelujah, Jesus. Or is it leading people away from Christ? Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's something to think about. You know, I was talking to somebody the other day, and she was telling me that what drew her to uh, restoration, she said it was some people that she was working with. Hallelujah, on the job. And she said she began to watch the life that they was living. And then she asked them where they went to church at and she wanted to come where they came because of what they were living. Because they was allowing God, hallelujah, to reflect in them and through them. Hallelujah, Jesus. They was allowing the character of God to show up in their lives. Thank you, Jesus. We're talking about thanksgiving. We thank God when we're doing, hallelujah, walking in, 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 in obedience to God. When we're, when we're letting our light shine before men, how that they may see our good works and glorify our Father. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Mm, and that's what happened to her. Thank you, Jesus. Having been deeply rooted in him, and now being continually built up. See, it just don't stop at being rooted in him. We got to continue to work on it. It's a, it's a process. You got to keep working on it. Hallelujah, Jesus. We got to continue to build ourselves up in him. Thank you, Jesus. Becoming increasingly more established in your faith, just as you were taught and overflowing in it with gratitude. The more we draw to God, the more we praise him, the more we make sacrifices and let God know how much he means to us. Hallelujah, Jesus. The more we let him reign in us, the more it's going to show up and going to draw somebody else 
It's going to minister to somebody else. Sometimes we don't even have to open up our mouths, hallelujah. But they will see God in you, hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Wonderful Savior. Wonderful Jesus, hallelujah. Glory to your name. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. It could also be that the psalmist is not referring to an act of sacrifice in Psalms 116. Thank you, Jesus, at all, but rather a simple expression of thanksgiving. He was reminding the Lord, Lord, I done been through all this. Mm. And Lord, but you kept me, God. You brought me out, God. When I didn't see no way, God, you made a way, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hosea 14 and 2 speaks of offering to God the fruit of our lips. And this may be what the author of Psalms 116 had in mind. Not a ceremonial sacrifice. In response to God's merciful salvation, the psalmist vows to publicly thank and praise the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. You know, even when we come out to the house of worship, when you are, when you have a relationship with God, it's not hard for you to open up your mouth. I know everybody, you know, have their own way that they praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name. But you, you will open up your mouth even if you don't lift up your hand. You will open up your mouth and you will give God some praise. Hallelujah. That comes from relationship. That comes from being rooted in God. Hallelujah. And appreciating all that God has done in your life and knowing who he is. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name. Thanksgiving. Mm was central to worship in the Old Testament, mm. just as it is a New Testament church. That's what I just said. Hallelujah. Did I read Colossians 4 and 2? Thank you, Jesus. Devote yourselves to prayer with an alert mind and a thankful heart. The Amplified, that was a New Living Translation. The Amplified says, be persistent and devoted to prayer. Being alert and focused in your prayer life with an attitude of thanksgiving. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name, God. Being alert and persistent in your communication. Prayer is communication with God. Being alert and persistent. Hallelujah. The Bible says watch as well as pray. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. So we got to be persistent. As the children of Israel offered up sacrifices of thanksgiving to the Lord, so believers today give thanks always and for everything to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name. And that's Ephesians 5 and 20. Thank you, Jesus. We bring sacrifice of praise. The Bible say, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name, God. Thank you, Jesus. Mm, hallelujah. The Apostle Paul tells believers that it is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus to be thankful in all circumstances. That, thank you, Jesus. And that's in First Thessalonians. Thank you, Lord. 5 and 16. And I'm going to read First Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. And it says, 16th verse says, and this is a New Living Translation. Always be joyful. Verse 17. Never stop praying. Thank you, Jesus. And verse 18, be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. To be thankful in all circumstances, no matter what it is that we're going through, be thankful. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Know that God got you covered. 
Nothing is too hard for God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. The writer of Hebrew urges us to offer thanksgiving. Through Jesus, therefore, let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise, the fruit of lips that openly profess the sacrifice. Hallelujah. Openly possess his name. Profess his name. Hebrews 13 and 15. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name. Now, one sacrifice of thanksgiving is obedience, mm. which is of greater importance to God than animal offerings and sacrifices. Thank you, Jesus. But before I go there, let me back up a little bit. I want to read this to you. We're talking about obedience now. John 14 and 15 says, and this is King James, if you love me, keep my commandments. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Mm, I got a little ahead of myself. I done got excited, praise God. Let me just calm down a little bit. Thank you, Jesus. Now, hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, God. One sacrifice of thanksgiving is obedience, which is of greater importance to God than animal offerings and sacrifices. And that's in 1 Samuel 15 and 22. Thank you, God. Those who genuinely love God desire to obey him. And that's what I just read. It's John 14. Thank you, Jesus. John, the 14th chapter and 15th verse. If you love me, keep my commands. Mm. Thank you, God. John 5 and 2, and that's the easy read version, say, how do we know that we love God's children? We know because we love God and we obey his commands. John 13 and 34 say, a new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. Hallelujah, Jesus. We got to, before we can love anyone else, we got to love God. We got to love God and love, if we love God, we'll love his children. Thank you, Jesus. We know because we love God and we obey his commands. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to your name. Their hearts are faithful to him. The thankfulness of true believers come from a sincere, sincere heart of gratitude. Thank you, God. That's Mark 7, 6 through 7, and I'm going to be reading the Amplified Version in that one. Mark 7, 6 through 7. It says, he replied, rightly, did Isaiah prophesy about you hypocrites? play actors, pretenders, as it is written in scripture. These people honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. They worship me in vain. Their worship is meaningless and worthless, a pretense, teaching the precepts of men as doctrines, giving their traditions equal weight with the scripture. Thank you, Jesus. Let not that be us. Hallelujah, Jesus. Pretenders. Hallelujah. The worship is meaningless and worthless. Pretenders. Pretenders to love the Lord, but our heart is far from him. Hallelujah, Jesus. The Bible said man looks at the outer appearance but God looks at the heart. God knows our heart, even though if nobody else around you, hallelujah, Jesus, knows what's really going on, God knows. We can't hide from the Lord. The Bible said that he sit high, he look low. He all seeing and all knowing God. 
His eyes, hallelujah, upon the righteous and his ears are open unto our cry. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name, God. God wants his children to worship him in spirit and in truth. And you'll find that in John 4 and 24. We can't worship God without his spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name, God. Wonderful Savior. If we are truly grateful to God for his loving kindness and mercy in our lives, we will offer sacrifices of thanksgiving naturally. It becomes natural. We recognize that everything we have is a gift. Thank you, Jesus. Let me say that again. Mm. We recognize that everything we have is a gift from him. James 1 and 17. Mm. Through even the most troubling and challenging times, we can offer sacrifices of thanksgiving by giving our bodies to God because of all he has done for us and letting our lives be a living and holy sacrifice, the kind he will find acceptable. Mm. This is truly the way to worship him. Thank you, God. Romans 12 and one through two reads, and this is New Living Translation. And so, dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to God because of all he has done for you. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice, the kind he will find acceptable. This is truly the way to worship him. Thank you, Jesus. The kind that he will find acceptable. We want to show God and let God know that we appreciate him. Hallelujah, Jesus. In the story of the one thankful leopard, Jesus made it clear that praise and thanksgiving are evidence of genuine faith. Hallelujah, Jesus. And that's talking about the 10 leopards. Hallelujah, Jesus. Luke 17 and 11 through 19. Thankfulness and faith go together. Thank you, Jesus. Wonderful Savior. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thankfulness and faith goes together, just as ingratitude and faithlessness do. Romans 1 and 21. The sacrifice of thanksgiving is a natural outflow of the Christian life. Psalms 92 and 1 through 4, and I'll read a good news translation. It says, how good it is to give thanks to, to you, O Lord, to sing in your honor, O Most High God, to proclaim your constant love every morning and your faithfulness every night. With the music of string instruments and with melody on the harp, your mighty deeds, O Lord, make me glad because of what you have done. I sing for joy. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah. We praise him. We thank him for who he is and what he has done and what he continues to do. Thank you, Jesus. Springing from a right relationship with God through Jesus Christ, Colossians 3, 16 through 17. And it says, let the message about Christ in all its richness fill your lives Teach and counsel each other with all the wisdom he gives. Sing, sing songs and hymns and spiritual songs to God with thankful hearts. And whatever you do or say, do it as a representative of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks through him to God the Father. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to your name. Don't forget about the Lord. Give God praise. Bring the sacrifice of thanksgiving 
Hallelujah. Let it come forth out of your lips. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to your name. Lift up holy hands and give him praise. Let your light shine before God that he may see your good works. Let your light shine before man that he may see your good works and glorify the Father. Thank you, Jesus. God is good. He's a way maker. Hallelujah. Just think about it. Look and see what God has done in your life. Know that you can count on God. Know that God would always be there for you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to your name. He is the Prince of Peace. He's a battle axe in the time of a battle. Whatever you need, hallelujah, go to God. Begin to praise him. Hallelujah. Say, Lord, I thank you. Oh, God, that the battle's not mine, but it belongs to you. Lord, I thank you that you already got it worked out, God. That this too shall pass, God, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I thank you for being a part of the Bible study. Let's go ahead and close out in prayer. Father, we thank you. We praise you. Hallelujah. We thank you for this word on today, God. Lord, we enter into your courts with thanksgiving, into your, into your prayer, into your courts with thanksgiving, God. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, into your courts with praise, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father, that it's not about us, but it's all about you, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, continue to have your way in us, God. Continue, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, to draw us close, closer and closer to you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. And Father, we thank you. We thank you for this word of today. We give you all the honor and all the glory and all the praise in Jesus' name. Thank you for being a part of our Bible study today. I pray that the word has blessed you, has touched your heart in Jesus' name. Until next time, see you soon. God bless. Hi, I know your life was blessed by the word that was taught on today, and I know it will continue to bless you throughout your week. So again, be prepared to come be with us again next week as we bring the word of the Lord, as we help you to become the incredible and phenomenal woman that God has created you to be. Have a good day, and we'll see you next week.